He's playing the goats. That's weak sauce. I can feel the weakness. I can feel your father's disapproval even. How's it going boys? And 3.5% today on Historic, we are gonna be playing one of my favorite things, a life gain deck. Oh yes, it's gonna be the 15,000th time we do this and you're gonna watch it for the 15,000th time. And it's gonna be as always absolutely amazing. Mostly because we have a mutually binding soul contract. So, you know, if you don't do this, you will suffer a hundred million years of extreme unluck, which will make you regret every life decision ever made. I hope you understand that. That's what, but that's what happens when you sign the, uh, sign the use user manual without actually reading it. That's what happens when you don't actually read the terms of service. But in anywho, this is gonna be fun! Mostly for the soul reasons. Oh, but also I do love myself some life gain and this one This one's gonna be interesting because we are gonna be using angel of unity because this is angel life gain Oh, yes a beautiful thing indeed with things that are not angels because I I'm a perpetual liar voice of the blessed spirits uh, speaker of the havens aka chubbums and Selvard and waifu oh yes none of these are angels but they work very well with angels because well they're clerics and righteous valkyrie also gives life for that's right clerics and other than that angel of unity is something new that I'm gonna be trying out here well I'm not exactly trying it out here I know it works pretty well because, well, we do have a lot of party mechanic creatures, aka Voice of the Blessed, Soul Warden, Spirit of the Havens, Righteous Valkyrie. The only things that are not gonna be uh, good with uh, Angel of Unity are Gida, Hel Heliod, and Splendid Angel. And, you know, we only need one Gida, we only need one Heliod, and, you know, uh, multiple Splendid Angels. So there's absolutely no problem with this. Also, this is a 1-3 with lifelink on default, which, uh, which allows us to well in a lot of cases make this thing absolutely destroy mono red or aggro in general i guess but voice of the bliss also kind of does that in any case well that's honestly kind of it cleric class johnny's welcome if you're playing against goblins maybe just maybe you want to go uh for the sweet sweet classic authority of the console who honestly knows and for mirror matches a johnny strength of the pride because well someone's gain gaining life and well that's us and this johnny can actually destroy any stalemate in a matter of well literally seconds just click the minus zero. Okay, and with that being said, 21 lands to be specific, 2.1 average, beautiful. And with that being said, without any further ado, let's just get a Kraken and see what happens. Going first with Cladic Class and Solvar, then. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, this is good, this is good. Ah, uh, yeah. Ooh, Elves. Wait, I have Helio, then Voice of the Blessed. I literally could not care less. Good. That's so good. Okay, okay, okay. Ba boys! Boys! We literally skill diffed perfect elf opener. Oh no! Oh no, no, no! <laughs> oh no! Yeah, this is gonna be the skill diff for the uh, for the perfect elf player. Beautiful. Oh wow, he, he so he had land of war into wrinkles, which is again perfect elf opener and now he's just gonna do more things more things that i don't really care about because reasons uh the voice of the blessed is just gonna be big enough at that Ooh. oh let's see i can't hmm i could mm, no 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 i i i i 100 yeah this is good with the block this this is gonna be good enough and now Past the turn. I know this looks strange, but I I need Voice of the Bliss to get maximum life gain with the Helio because this guy doesn't have any way of actually you know like um, doing MacGuffins. So you know it is what it is. Okay, do this and Voice of the Bliss keeps on pumping. Ha 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 ha! Ah, something something Tonka truck baby. 
Man, this guy is playing a beast of the East type of combo, by the way. Beast Whisper and Elvish Visionary. Visionary is a bad card, and leading the Stampede. While it is probably the best three cost sorcery speed card that does what that you are. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, Chief. You kind of like did a thing there. A little bit too big of a thing. I should have attacked, by the way. I could have won already this turn. Oh, but let's face it, at the end of the day. As long as he doesn't dead touch. Well, even if he does dead touch, honestly, at this point, like, who, who cares, right? We're probably winning no matter what. Also, this is, th 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 this is like, just, just peak perfection, boy, it was peak perfection. Oh, elves. Elf ball me. Oh, uh, bloot, you buttercuppy look looking trash bag, you. Oh, you thought you, you t oh, by the way, can't counterspell because of also a shepherd. No one cares, the card. I mean, this is the greatest example of skill dip I have ever seen in my life. If I draw, by the way, one more soul warden, it gets even better. Because extra soul wardens are better than cleric classes in this point. Oh yeah. Wait, actually, what's better? Okay, so a second soul warden in the cleric, uh, cleric class is better because that's 4 HP per one. Uh, six... Oh, it's equal on the next. Okay, and it is Splendid Angel. But I... S wait, no, 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 no. Wait, but there's no reason for me to attack. Well, that is maximum HP, though. So, I guess there is a reason to do everything here. Uh, not gonna attack with the Helio because he has a blocker. But this is fine. This, 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 this be fine. Man! Every single time you just get to actually have a little bit fun on the bun with the elf players. You gotta love it, boys. You gotta love it. I don't know what I'm a bigger fan of, honestly. Is it destroying elf players mentally, physically, and, you know, spiritually? Which is different from sp mentally, I guess. Or... Is it is it dropping double soul warden with a cleric class against mono red? Man, I can't I, I can't I can't even decide boys which one is better. But anyway, this guy maybe he actually has it. I I don't know how he's playing stuff. Because you know, like this is huge. But he has, again, he should have actually already lost, but I'm just a good guy, so I kind of let him uh, live, because didn't attack. And now he does this. I wonder, well, he's obviously gonna go for everyone's uh, Crater Buff Behemoth card, but that... Wait, do I actually, do, wait, do I survive it? I think I survive it, right? It makes, it only would make sense if I survive it, because I say so. Okay, you play the creator of Behemoth. Big dealio, brolio. Do I survive, though? Um, probably. You always survive goblin token creation, because that's one damage for, uh, you know, this, this kind of deal. Okay, I think I'm still alive, because staying alive! Bruh, I ain't even worried, you know what? The, the, this means nothing. I will block the highest damage card, which is you. Because you created these problems. And after that, honestly, doesn't matter. You, Solvard, then don't even bother, baby. Ah, uh, yeah. By the way, boys, do you know what I did recently? Oh yeah, I, I did a thing. And that thing is called... I downloaded Guild Watch too. Well, actually, I did it like literally two hours ago. Played it for a little bit. And you know what? Yeah, looks good. Feels good. You know, kind of nice. You know, nice and, and nice and whatnot. Also, I'm gonna do this so he uses up removal if he has any. Because Voice of the Blist in this case is a little bit better. Because even if he's playing Ley Lines of the Void, that does not necessarily mean that our boyfriend o hero. Oh, uh, yeah, this is actually fine. It doesn't mean that our boy right here is actually... Oof. Well, that's... That, that's okay. That's okay. That doesn't mean that he does actually have, like, you know, things that exile, you know? So, gonna keep that one in mind. Voice of the Blessed next turn. 
I want to pump it, but I, I'm afraid that he's going to suck it right now because I feel it. And when I feel it, well, I can't do... Oh! Oh! Wait! Dude! Ah, oh, man, I need to do this again. I, I am I am, ju I am just so bad at playing Sheldred. I, I, I want to do this mono black thing with the ring so much, but uh, for some reason, I'm, I'm just... I'm just, I'm just bad at it, so I don't do it, so yeah, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully I can win, because the ring, if dropped now, is gonna be a huge issue. So, hopefully he doesn't do it. Admittedly, the, uh, people like this also play brats, and the one ring. It's like you always just have it for some stupid reason. I don't know why. But it just seems like every time I play against this type of mono black, it's just they're like Sheldred into the ring, and well, uh, that's that's kind of it. Sheldred into the ring, and uh, yeah. Well, in that case, I can just do this. I can always just nuke the Sheldred out of him, so that's kind of neat. Let's see. Let's just put tokens on that. Maybe he's riddle and who honestly knows, right? I could attack with everything, create an extra value. And yeah, you know what, actually? That's what I'm gonna do. He's gonna block, but that means that I'm creating a thingamajiggy. And that we are slowly gonna... Hmm. Well, he figured it out. Damn. Close, 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 close. But this is now flying, which is a big deal. And hopefully, he's gonna take damage from me. Because remember, the ring actually does damage first before drawing cards. So we do have a chance for the last dance. Let's put the cat on purple for extra luck. He draws the cards. I hate you so much on a personal level. Okay, he drops the land. Okay, he's actually in combo range to combo me. Liliana! Of the waifu. Happy to help, but I'm what are you gonna do? Minus one? Minus two? Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, Gia, that you can go away. No one cares about you on a personal level. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Because, well, we're still doing stuff, right? Whoa! Ah, that's interesting. That's pizzazz. Ooh, so loud. Yeah, that's pretty, that's, that's pretty cheeked. I like it. I like when things are, uh, are super cheeks. Okay, do this. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, uh, let's see. What else do I actually do? Well, I buff it like there's no tomorrow. Beautiful! And let's see. I attack. I don't attack the Liliana because I don't care enough, right? I attack also this because I do care enough in this situation. <laughs> Never give up. Five... Is it, it is it is absolutely paramount at this moment that we do not give mentally up because we have everything everything to win here. I don't know what that would honestly be in most situations, but got everything, boys. He can not win. I can break these chains. I can cook. I can. I can do a lot of things, okay? None of- half of them are illegal in most places in the world, but a lot of things nonetheless. And I believe that he does not OTK me right now. I'm gonna close my eyes. Actually, there's no sound cue, so I can't tell if anything's happening. Did I lose? Nope, still alive. Main hook. no one cares for no one cares the amount of no one cares! <laughs> Let's go, baby! Oh yeah! Guess what, SA? You see? This is where- this is why I win where others fail. Because this is 12, boy. Beautiful. One land, but the perfect hand nonetheless. And we do have one, by the way, unbreakable formation for- Oh, rats! Disgusting, deplorable rats. Thought seizure? I mean, okay. What are you gonna go for? The formation or the cleric class? Or maybe the Ajani's? Now, I'm honestly kind of thinking that we're probably not gonna get, um... Oh, he went for... Oh! That card works in different ways. Okay, who would have expected that one, huh? Well, in any case, 
At least they're kind of pressuring him. He's he's already at 15 HP and it's been like one turn because I haven't done a lot. But that's kind of good. That's kind of good. That's kind of neat. So the cat. Let's put the cat on purple. Next thing, cladic class. I have no idea why you exist, but you do. Which means, well, nothing actually changes for this turn. Great. <laughs> okay, what am I playing up against? He's, he, he just played, by the way, great alternative art to Leah. Good times. So, I don't have the Angel of Unity. I do have a bunch of foodie boys. And I do have an unbreakable formation. Which means nothing in this situation, because of reasons. Esper Sentinel now. Okay. I mean... Stuff. I'm kind of confused, what's... Oh! Okay. Wait, you can't do that. Well, okay, he can. That's literally the point of the card. But I don't like you doing that. Okay, so now we're gonna get even more pizzazz out of this. And at some point, he's actually gonna start to need to block. Yeah, about right now. Okay. So, still good. St still, still going strong. I like it. A little bit more and this thing is gonna be invulnerable, which is gonna eat it eat that hub. Wow. Volrati, what are you doing, my friend? Hmm. Someone was not loved as a child, eh? Yeah, that's kind of painfully visible. Well, in any case, can't do much here. Hmm, interesting. Do you think he's gonna play something that cycles the Sky Cleave Apparition? Oh boy, so this is pretty much most likely a forced loss, because of reasons. If I get one more land though, I can actually play the Ajani in minus two, or alternatively Cleric Class level two. I'm not in exactly in a rush to do a lot of things here. Oh wait, he's gonna target all of my Ajani's and that's gonna be pretty annoying. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm not taking damage. Well, I am taking damage, but it's it's meaningless damage. Okay. Uh, kind of best uh, best outcome to a certain degree. Do nothing. Anytime now he drops something, we're gonna be like, you know, it's gonna be a power play. Okay. Okay. He obviously doesn't do too much there. I have still this, which means value. I'm probably gonna draw a creature. What if I draw a lane? Actually, two lanes is not- STOP! Sh sh stop This is bad! Who told you these cards are good? He doesn't even look good. He's kinda like, you know, that non-hot guy who thinks he's hot. Disgusting. Well, at least I'm buffing the Ajani's up. Okay, that's, that's pretty cheeks. That's pretty cheeks. Then let's go all the way, baby. Suddenly! Cheeks ahoy. I like it. I like it. So I'm buffing up that thing because well this has the ability to gain life link and whatnot So it doesn't matter. Okay, my enemy no longer can enemy things Maybe now I actually keep the mon for unbreakable for me dude Okay, big plays a clock Um Sure Yeah, right that's, that's a thing that some people use sometimes. I forgot it exists, but it's okay. Um, no, you can draw a card. I think unbreakable formation is a little bit more important at this point in time. Okay, well, attack it is. Bam! Two damage, still damage. Okay, so what's the play here? Well, he knows the formation is problematic. Land draws are actually good. And, well, I'm gonna bump this Cladic class probably next level. Or maybe- wait, actually, no. If I get a land, I'm probably getting back that. I don't know what you're supposed to be, but you were super annoying, right? Uh, opponent dead hand, blah blah blah. Uh, what just happened? Enters the- WHOA! WHOA WHOA WHOA! Wait, that- that- was that scary or was that okay-ish? Right. Ah, that's pretty funny. That's that's pretty funny. 
In any case, this is gonna buff up things more, and, well, honestly, just, just slightly below lethal. 2 HP off, boy. What you gonna do now? Also, got, got a little bit of that, uh, sh 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 sweet, sweet beacon dead boy. Okay, and now I'm gonna pump that until it's invulnerable. Hopefully. I could have tried to do the uh, invulnerable pump a little bit sooner. But I completely forgot we got five. Wait, how did we get five? Oh, because we have double. Yeah, right. That's why I forgot. If I knew that this is spawning, I would have actually started with the voice of the blessed. Not gonna lie, boys. Oh, look at that. It's vanquishing. No one cares. Ah, uh, okay. I get the draw. St Wait. I still literally insta-win. Bruv. Bruv. That's pretty good. Nice, I like it. Oh, wow. Finally, the Angel of Unities are gonna start popping off like crazy. Well, actually, I have nothing to buff, so maybe actually keeping this... Ooh! Wait a minute. Can I win it? No. I think I just drop it like this, because our opponent is a gate enjoyer. So that's- I should never have done that, that- it just- it's just too- too bad. Hello there. Groats! Wait, base? Wait, 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 did you just use gates of sea towers and a basic forest? You should never- well, at least he can't actually cast anything like super deadly. So, as long as I actually make the voice of the blessed a little bit above Gates of Blaze Ma uh, Gates of Blaze value, I can do some things. Yeah, I can do some things. I can also Heliod. Heliod plus that's... Hmm. Well, he still has nothing. He can't even cast a White Wrath if he has one. Ah, uh, that's still a little bit slightly deceivingly not, not good. Well, in any case, uh, here's a soul ward, because of reasons. Okay, good enough. And here's, uh, Angel of Something. That's a 3-5 on default. Good times. In any case, uh, attack. Again, we are still staying above board when it comes to Voice of the Blessed gaining life and whatnot. So, it's kind of good in that respect. Guild Summit? He's playing the goats. That's weak sauce. I can feel the weakness. I can feel your father's disapproval even. Yeah, this doesn't seem too much of like an honestly problem. Yeah, you can hit me baby one more time, it's fine. You think that vigilance is gonna do anything at the end of the day? <laughs> no. No, it will not. Because at the end of the day, 11, 12, nah, not enough, no, no, no reason to attack with everything, because at the end of the day, do I actually have to worry about getting, um, what you called? I don't even know, I, I don't actually even know, could, could he settle down wreckage? I don't think he can, whoa, whoa, big, big, big titan, okay, yeah, that doesn't matter at all. Okay, yeah. Th see, this is why I didn't use Primordial Titan in my deck, because it's like, okay, Primordial Titan, ah, uh, that's cute. What now? Exactly. Nothing. Nothing is, is is now. And that's like the thing. That's why I didn't use the Primordial Titan. I, I understand it's a pretty good card, but, you know, didn't win the game now, did it? By the way, I'm just loving this Solvard in an open in hand always type of situation. But now this league looks a little bit ahem, doge, as one might say. So I need to. Did you just I'll oh oh because your paradox engine. I thought you're just like you know the thing. Okay, very very not cool. If you're just gonna drop one of the pieces to win the game right now, I'm gonna be pretty pissed. And you semblance anvil, which is. Pretty much same as just winning flat out outright. Okay, I think I can win though with double righteous Valkyrie drop at this point. Uh, there is a chance, and I'm definitely taking that chance. K 
Okay, do this. A little bit of life gain. We can still win, even though this looks extremely bad. Okay, imagine this. Simon Sandville into the Mystic Forge. Or into a Paradox Engine, which is kind of neat. Or into a Mystic Forge and Paradox Engine, because, you know, fuck bitches get money. Wow! Uh... That's called skill difference. Blue, blew my ass. Okay, so now he can lit- Maybe he actually gets, uh, stuck. No, he did not. Surgical skull clamps. Wow. Sacrifice, draw a card, blah, blah, blah. Okay, okay. Chief. Chief. I understand your Tefari avatar has led you to probably a negative win rate at this point. But... I kinda don't care. Wizards! What are you doing? This guy, cl you're clearly just sacrificing me to this guy. Tefari Avatar, go first. Semblance Anvil turn 3, Paradox Engine, and Mystic Forge on standby. And by the way, a Monarch just to make, uh, make it a guaranteed victory. My god, boy. This ain't, this ain't looking good, sweet cheeks. Well, anyway, I am gonna concede. Close. I would have sworn so hard on the next turn, probably, though. Look at this absolutely beautiful hand, and my opponent Mulligan down to, uh, not a lot. I don't know what's happening here, but in any case, this is beautiful. This is ew -ew. And, uh, what, what, what's happening here now? Uh, what, what, what is this? Why would you Mulligan in life gain? Huh. Well, in any case, I'm gonna attack. Let's see what you're gonna do. Oh, nothing. That's right, because I went first. Which is, by the way, literally the only skill expression you will ever see in one of white mirror matches. <laughs> but it's good. It's good. I like it. In any case, I am so ahead this is not even funny. And I will, well, keep going ahead, because next turn, skill expression is gonna be maxed, boys. Oh, that's right, because you can play your Righteous Angel Valkyrie thing, but you know what? That doesn't matter a lot. When I go first. Oh, yes, boys. Literally peak skill. It's beautiful. What can I say? It's absolutely majestic, beautiful, and lovely, and everything in between and in, in the middle. I am outscaling him. I am outplaying him. I am outskilling him. This is why I play by the live game, boys. Absolutely pizzazz. Oh, yes. Can I please get in a Johnny Pride of the Pride so I can do some naughty things? Also, this seems like a ossification. What do you mean, ossification? How is that even legal? I, I did the thing in front of the mouth for uh, a, a, a extra, like, uh, impact. Also, pretty good stuff. In any case, um, still gonna YOLO 420 absolutely blaze it into you because of reasons. I don't know why you mulligan while playing life gain. How is that, like, even possible? Should that be illegal? I think that should be illegal. In any case... See? You see how- Skill difference. Oh, look at that! Our opponent's playing 70 cards. I wondered what could go possibly wrong. Oh, wait. Let's find out. <laughs> Is it? Don't tell me you're a reanimator. <laughs> yep! Yep, he's a reanimator. Guess what? Playing 70 cards, fatal sleuthing on turn one, and he just instantaneously, instantly has a fiery ultimatum in the graveyard. What a time to be alive, boys. I mean, truly a work of art, one might even say. So, yeah, it's either I... Well, I did go first, but I'm not sure if I can actually pump enough to make it work. Cleric class is useless. Okay, well, at least I can drop Cleric class. Maybe he has a counterspell. I mean, okay. That's a thing. I mean, you never know with these ones, right? You you, you literally never know what's happening. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, so buff it up. 
Good, good, good. And now attack with everything. Oh, otherworldly gaze. I mean, he has the full combo. Now he's just searching a platinum angel. Wow. And, wait, did he just mill two other otherworldly gazes? Yeah, it looks like his uh, his uh, his other worldly gaze hit a platinum angel and two more. Wow. Okay, so next turn he probably reanimates the platinum angel, and I am, well, as dead as dead honestly can be. Now the only question is, now nah, there's no way I actually get enough juice here, right? Yeah, I have the fe I have the feeling that there's no way I get enough juice here. Even though pretty strong, but no, uh, yeah, it's 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 a little bit not enough juice. How much am I off though? Not a lot. Yeah, not a lot. Faithful mending, even. Okay. Wow. Oh, Atraxa. Wait, Atraxa and Burning Runes Demon. That's an old combo with Burning Ruins Demon, because the Burning Ruins Demon is like a safety measure you pretty much could- Yeah, and there he goes. I mean, 70 cards, what, what, what else was supposed to happen? I mean, wait. Yeah, but this, wait, no, no, uh, no, I still lose because there's nothing I can do against the Platinum Angel. Oh my god. So, so, there's nothing I can do against a Platinum Angel. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I lose. There's nothing I can do against the Platinum Angel. Wow. I mean, yeah, that's, that's impressive. That's actually impressive that Wizard somehow made his deck like this so he can get a dub. <laughs> wow! Man! You know, stuff happens, as they say. Stuff happens. Drop the Helio. Chances are he... I don't know. I think he should honestly not even block, technically, this. Because just to prove dominance by Platinum Angel, but... Wow! Yeah, he's not even blocking. He literally knows what's up. Anyway, uh, that's a good game right there. And with that being said, I would like to say, well, I'm probably gonna do the buys here. I don't, I don't know. But it's we're playing aggro, so again, I think aggro is gonna be 30 minutes on average for a video. Everything else is gonna be sweet, sweet, uh, wow, massacre room. Sweet, sweet, uh, 45-ish. Anyway, this was Quizzer Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and have a nice day. Bye-bye. Hope you enjoy the video.